Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Carla. Carlos, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you today? Fine, teacher. You are fine, excellent. And you, Carlos, how are you today? I am fine. Okay, I'm happy you are fine. Hello, Roxana. Roxana Vigail. Good evening. How was your day today? How was your My day? My day is very busy. Ah, your day was very busy. Okay. Yes. You say, my day was very busy. It was very busy. Okay, excellent. And you, Carlos, how was your day? My day is very complicated. Oh, very complicated. Why? What happened? What happened? I have a, I, I, I have a lot of work. Oh, okay. Uh, stay in the end of the, of the month and the work is grow, grow. Uh, are you an accountant? No, no. I am an engineer. Oh, you're an engineer. Okay. Yes. Okay, a lot of work. Right? Hello, Glisset. Good evening. Welcome Hello, to the class. You. How are you today? <laughs> Como se dice, mi día estuvo cansado, estresado, oh, agotado. Eh. Oh. <laughs> okay, my day was terrible, you can say. Etc., etc., etc. Okay, it was busy, it was. My day is etc., etc., etc. Okay, excellent. So. So I don't know what happened with your class before. It is eight and one minute. So yesterday we were studying um, sickness, right? So illnesses or sickness, and also the question, how are you and how do you feel? So how do you answer the question, what's the matter? Or what's wrong? Do you remember those questions? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Um, yes. So we also study some illnesses, vocabulary, vocabulary acerca de las enfermedades. We learn how to say, for example, dolor de estómago. How do you say that? Stomachache. Stomachache. Yes. I, I have a stomachache. Yes, I have a stomachache. Utilizamos el verbo have ¿verdad? para decir que tenemos un padecimiento o una enfermedad, an illness. So, what about dolor de cabeza? How do you say that? I have a headache. I have a headache, excellent. Uh, what about a uh, dolor de espalda? I have a backache. I have a backache, <laughs> yes, I have a backache. Backache, okay. Backache. Okay, and how do you say me duele todo el cuerpo? Lo que, lo que está sintiendo Lisette ahora. Ay. I heart uh, body or my back. Oh, uh -huh. Okay, my body. <laughs> In that case, we are going to use the verb hearts. Hearts. Uh, my body hearts. It hurts. My body hearts. So what I'm going to say in that way. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, Roxana. Welcome to the class. So we are going to start with this. Uh, by the way, do you have any question about the platform exercises? Are you working on that? Are you working on the platform exercises? Yes. Yes. Okay. Who is in section three? Who is in section three already? Yes. ¿Quién está ya en la sección 3? Nobody. In my case, 
In section four. Ah, you're in section four. Congratulations. Yes, teacher. Okay. Igual, section four. Section four. Congratulations. Yes. I so bad. I, I, I start today section three. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Don't worry. We have this week to complete that section, so don't worry. At the end of this week, we are going to have that completed, right? Section three and also the midterm. Don't forget that, right? Um, on Friday that we don't have classes, you can complete or you can take the midterm test in case you haven't done yet. Right? In caso de que no lo haya hecho todavía. If you have already done the test, so don't worry. Okay. So we are one, two, three, four, five today. So we are going to see this. Let me know, please. You can see my screen. I'm going to share it with you. Okay, let me know, please, if you can see my screen. I can see in the screen. Okay. Screen. Okay, thank you very much. So this is the topic for today. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. And that is the topic. No trabaje demasiado, right? Don't work too hard. Me de sus consejos, Nah, that is in the platform, right? No. That is no work too hard. Um, it's mean that demasiado trabajo al final no nos hace bien. Mm. Um, but we have two, right? In some cases, we have two. We cannot avoid working too much. But this is an advice, right? Es como un consejo, ¿verdad? So, this. Okay, so don't worry too hard. It is an imperative sentence and it has been using as an advice. Es como un consejo, no trabaje demasiado. But before to go to that, we are going to have this review. Yesterday we studied these two questions, what's the matter and what's wrong. So this is the way we are going to answer this question. So let's see, for example, what's the matter? So you can say, ah, you have a cold. Uh, what's the matter with her? She has a fever. What's the matter with them? ¿Cuál es el problema con ellos? They have the flu. They have the flu. What's wrong with him? He has a headache. So yesterday we studied this, right? To answer this question, what's the matter or what's wrong, we're going to need a subject, the verb have, plus a noun. And here I have the examples. I have a cold, she has a fever, they have the flu, he has a headache. We can also use the verb feel, right? To say, how do you feel? Como nos sentimos? Como estamos? So we need a subject, the verb feel, plus an adjective. I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better. I feel stressful. So in this case, subject, verb field, and adjective. So how do you feel today? ¿Cómo se siente el día de hoy? How do you feel today, guys? I feel better. Okay, I feel better. Excellent, I feel better. I feel great. I feel great. Excellent. So that is the way we answer these questions. So do you have any question about yesterday's topic? No questions? Then let's start with this. We are going to listen to this conversation and this is the conversation, don't work too hard. Again, right? Otra vez nos presentan este consejo. This is why don't work too hard. So we are going to listen to this video. Here we go. 
We are going to start with that video today. It is on the platform. Just a second. Okay, here is the video. Hi everyone, it, which illustrates how this topic. Okay. Let's listen and practice. And uh, let me know, please. Don't work. You can see. Can you see and listen? I listen. Okay, you can listen. Okay, excellent. So here we go. Pay attention, please, to the pronunciation. Too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Okay, something is wrong with this. Just a second. Today. Not so good. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we... Okay, now I'm going to show you the conversation again. Just a second. Yeah, we are going to see the script of the conversation. And it's this, right? So it says, hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later, I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pills every night after dinner. Okay, and don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Okay, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her, guys? What's wrong with her? She feels she is tired. Exhausted. Okay, she's exhausted and she is so tired too. Any other problem? Does she have any other problem? She was a lot of. Uh, ah, she, she can sleep at night. Okay, she can't sleep at night. So what is the reason she is exhausted, so tired, and she can't sleep at night? What is the reason? Because she works too hard. Okay, she works too hard. It's so, like me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Se siente como se siente Lizette in this moment, right? So exhausted. Yeah. Or oh, probably yeah. all of you, probably all of you, right? It has been a long, busy day. So at the end of the day, you feel exhausted, tired. And at night, 
and probably you can't sleep. So look at the conversation. This is, how are you? No so good. What's wrong exactly? ¿Cuál es el problema exactamente? I exhaust you. I am exhausted. Why are you so tired? ¿Por qué estás tan cansada? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. That is, um, voy a revisar la verdad. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. What are pills, guys? What are pills? What is the meaning of pills? Pastillas. Okay, algunas pastillas. Take one pill every night after dinner. What is the indication? How is she going to take the pills? Tomar una pastilla cada noche después de cena. Okay, excellent. She is going to take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. Look at the other advice. Don't drink coffee, tea or soda. Don't drink coffee, tea or soda. That is another no, advice. No, 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 me. Me? Oh, okay. Me too. <laughs> and what about if the doctor Coffee. said? <laughs> it's delicious, right? But it's a little bit dangerous too. And what about if the doctor say, don't drink soda? Don't drink soda anymore. ¿Alguien sufriría en este grupo por la soda? Nobody likes soda here? Me, teacher. Um, me, teacher. Okay. Me <laughs> I'm sorry, right? Eh, if the doctor say that to you. Lo siento si el doctor le dice alguna vez eso, right? Don't drink coffee, don't drink soda. Anything else? Algo más? Le dice la señorita West. Yes, don't work too hard. Sí. Este sería el último consejo que le da. Don't work too hard. Hard. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Okay. If it is possible, don't work too hard. So three advices, right? So let's see. One, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda, and don't work too hard. And also an indication, an instruction, take one pill every night after dinner. This is an instruction. So a volunteer, two volunteers to practice this conversation. But before to go to the practice, is there any new vocabulary in this conversation? Vocabulario nuevo en esta conversación? Is there a word that you don't know the meaning in this conversation? A word or a phrase that you don't know? No new vocabulary. No. Okay. What the meaning? What the meaning? Let's take a look at you. Okay. Let's take a look at you. That is, um, déjeme revisarla. Déjeme chequearlo. Look at you. Let's take a look at you. That is the meaning of that phrase. Any other word or phrase that you don't know in this conversation? No? Okay, then let's go to the practice. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Volunteers are big things. <laughs> or sacrifice too, right? I don't want to uh, who wants to participate tonight? Who wants to participate in this activity? Who wants? Who wants? Okay. So we are going to listen Evelyn and Lisette Esmeralda. So Evelyn, you are going to be the doctor. And Esmeralda, Lisette Esmeralda, you are going to be Miss West. Okay. Okay. 
You can start. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at look at you. Uh, I am going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thank you. Dr. John. Okay, excellent job. That was a really nice participation. Thank you guys. So two volunteers, the last two volunteers, the last two volunteers, who wants to participate? Who wants to participate? So we're going to choose two. Carla and Carlos, please. Carla and Carlos. So, Carlos, you are going to be the doctor, and Carla, you are going to be Miss West. You can start, please. Okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So, what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Okay, thank you. That was a perfect job, very good. Okay, why are you so tired? Okay, excellent. So let's pay attention to these sentences. Take one pill every night after dinner. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda, and don't work too hard. Uh, do you know how these sentences are called in English? No trabaje demasiado. Ah, yes. Advice. Yes. Advice. Advices, yes, they are advices. Uh, Estamos utilizando imperative sentence to get advices. Son oraciones imperativas, ¿verdad? Para dar consejos ¿verdad? o sugerencias. So look at this example. Imperative. Imperative sentences. Las oraciones imperativas las damos para dar órdenes, ¿verdad? Para pedir que alguien haga algo por nosotros, que se llama request. Uh, to give orders and also to give advice. In this case, we're going to study this part, giving advices using imperative sentences. And I have here some examples. Who wants to read the examples? I volunteer to read the example, please. Who wants to help me tonight? Help me, please. You can do it. I volunteer, please, to read these examples. Who wants to read it, this example? Uh, me. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, mm, no, me. Oh. Yes, give me a second. I can see. Who wants to read it? Are, are you Mateo? Yes? yes. Yes, okay, Mateo, help me, please. The... Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. And don't drink soda. Thank you, Mateo. Excellent job. So look at this part. These are positive imperative sentences. So we start with a verb. We start with a verb and a complement. Take a pill every four hours. 
rest in bed, drink lots of juice. And these other ones are negative, negative imperative sentences. They start with don't, don't work too hard, don't stay up late, don't drink soda. So here is the way we are going to do this type of sentences. It's, it's easy, right? It's a piece of K, this part. So you need a bird, that's a compliment. Even a verb can be an instruction or an advice. Incluso solo un verbo puede ser una oración imperativa. In this case, I have this example. Drink lots of water. Eat vegetables. Take an aspirin. In the negative, we are going to use don't plus a verb plus a complement. So don't eat too much. Don't stress. Don't drink soda. Entonces, para las oraciones imperativas positivas, solo necesitamos a verb and a complement. And for the negative imperative sentences, we are going to use don't, plus a verb, plus a complement. So let's do an exercise. Using imperative, look at this. If you have a headache, if you have a headache, si usted tiene un dolor de cabeza, who wants to read the advices? ¿Quién quiere leer los consejos o sugerencias? Thank you, Verónica. If you have a headache, take some aspirin, rest a lot, don't use your telephone or computer, and don't watch television. Okay, thank you. So first one, take some aspirin. Second, rest a lot. Third one, don't use your cell phone or computer. And fourth, advice, don't watch television if you have a headache. What about the next? If you have diarrhea, if you have diarrhea, who wants to read the advices? A volunteer, please, to read the advices. Stay at home, drink a lot of liquid, don't eat too much. Okay, excellent. Stay at home, that is the first. Drink lots of liquids, don't eat too much. Pues, quedes en casa, tome muchos líquidos y no coma demasiado. Thank you very much. If you have a coat, if you have a coat, which are the advices? Who wants to Take read them? Syrup. Take syrup. Don't drink cold drinks and don't eat ice cream. Okay. ¿Se acuerda que le decía la abuelita cuando si usted tiene tos o gripe? Don't. No coma no. nada helado. Okay, don't drink cold drinks. No chocobananos, no charamuscas, no ice cream. Okay, and what about if you have a stomachache, for example? ¿Cuáles podrían ser algunos consejos? If you have a stomachache. Stomachache. So... An advice for someone who is suffering from a stomach ache. Don't eat a lot of food. Okay, don't eat too much food or don't eat a lot of food. Stay at home. Stay at home. Don't go to work or don't go to school. So we're going to do the next thing here. Take antacid. Okay, take an antacid. Antacid. Okay, look, look at this bird. Eat, sleep, walk, dream, stress, go, smoke, listen, watch, relax, and work. I have this bird here. Can you tell me an imperative sentence using this bird? Let's start with it. Who wants to see it? 
it's be, be, ¿cómo se dice vegetal? Vegetal. It's vegetables. Vegetables. Be, uh, vegetables. Okay. It's okay. Vegetables. Yes, that is a good advice. What about the next one? Sleep. I sleep on the sofa. Uh, in that case, sería sleep on the sofa or don't sleep on the sofa? Don't sleep don't. on the sofa. Okay, if you want to rest uh, well, don't sleep on the sofa. Next one, walk. Work for 30 minutes in the day. Okay, excellent. Work for 30 minutes. What about drink? Drink if soda. Have, if drink. you have a flu, drink some liquid. Okay, drink some liquid. Which other one with drink? Drink water. Drink water. Drink water instead of coffee and soda. Tome agua en lugar de vender. Soda and yes. coffee. Uh, stress. 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 Is to be bad. Stress is too bad, so say don't stress, sería la oración imperativa. Thank you. Don't stress too much. Don't stress too much. No se estrese demasiado. And with go, if you feel sick, I go to the beach. Okay. If you feel sick, go, go to the beach. Go to the bed. If you oh. feel sick, go to the bed. Okay, go to bed. If you feel sick, go to bed or go to the doctor. And what about go away? Go away? No, I'll go away. No, right? It's like. <laughs> no, go away. No, in this case, no, right? It's como better. Right? If you feel sick, bueno, ahora sí, ¿verdad? Si alguien tiene COVID, for example, you say go away. <laughs> staying home and it's that we, we are afraid right we are afraid of that of that illness uh, of that virus what about smoke 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 right sería don't smoke don't smoke or podemos decir smoke five cigarettes or don't smoke don't then, smoke too much. Don't smoke too much. And uh, what about listen? Listen your advice. Okay, listen the doctor advices. Listen to your mother advices. Listen to your grandmother advices. And uh, what about wash? Wash your teeth every night. Okay, excellent. Wash your teeth every night, but we say brush, brush your teeth. Brush. Brush. So we can say wash, wash your hands, wash your hands and relax. In this case, just the bed, right? Relax, relax, relaxing. In work, Don't, don't work too hard. <laughs> don't work too hard. Okay, I have here my ideas, so let me show you some of my ideas. Who wants to read the first one? Just don't read it. Fast, don't eat fast food. Thank you. Don't eat fast food. What is fast food? Comida rápida. Comida rápida, ¿verdad? O comida chatarra, right? Fast food. Uh, do you like fast food? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Which one yeah. is your favorite? Which one is your favorite? Actually, my favorite is my dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> Can my you please? favorite fast food is pizza. Pizza, okay. What about hamburgers? Two hamburgers. <laughs> uh, hamburgers too. And yeah. French, French fries, French fries. French fries. No. Okay. <laughs> hey, no, no de caritas, no sea así. <laughs> <laughs> okay, French fries. 
They are delicious, right? They are delicious. So, don't go to sleep too late. Don't go to sleep too late. No se vaya a dormir demasiado tarde. What time do you go to bed? What time do you go to bed? Go to the bed 11.30 every night. At 11.30? Mm, that is too late. Uh, ¿cuál es? Okay. Um, ¿Cuál ha sido la hora más tarde que se han ido a la cama? ¿Hasta el siguiente día? Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. In Christmas celebration. In yeah. Christmas, only okay. that. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, what 30 minutes? El ejemplo que ustedes dijeron. What 30 minutes? Caminar 30 minutos. Don't stress too much. No se estrese demasiado. That is dangerous. You are going to get sick. Go for a run. Go for a run. Salga a correr. ¿verdad? Vaya a correr. Don't smoke. Listen to your doctor, wash your hands, relax, and don't work too hard. Those are my examples. So let's look at this. Okay, this is a game. You have to pick at what number each one. Tienen que escoger un número cada uno. Y les va a aparecer una illness. You are going to listen an illness in this part. Okay, just a second. Okay, can you see it? Who wants to start? Who wants to start? I want the fourth. Okay, Ford. In Ford, in number four, we have this illness. Cove, can you tell me two advices using imperative sentences? Puede decirme dos okay. conceptos. Yes. Two, two, two advices. Yes, using imperative sentences. Okay. Uh, take some cup of syrup. Okay, take cup of syrup. Yes, that is good. A good one. Thank you. Take for tea. Take. Take for tea. Tómate un té. Oh, drink a tea. Drink a tea. Sí. Drink a hot tea. Drink a hot tea. Sí. Thank you. Excellent advices. Who wants to continue? And pick one number. Number 12. Number 12. Uh, what is 12? Here is number 12. 12. Okay, in this part we have tiredness. Tiredness. What's the meaning of tiredness? Cansancio. Ah, okay. You just say, I feel if tired. If you have tiredness, um, you, can, um, you, you can rest. Okay. In your bed. Rest, rest at home. Rest in your bed, rest and... Rest at home. And go to the beach. And go, <laughs> <For> relax. <laughs> and go relax into the beach, okay? Okay, very good advices, thank you. Okay, who wants to continue? Escojan un número, también hay premios. Bueno. Por ahí una cita con Vin Diesel. Ay. <laughs> Dos semanas en Bartolina, nada en nuestro. Es mejor ahí no vamos a trabajar. Ese no es un premio, teacher. Pero ese no es un premio. Ok, Pink One, and tell me. Which number seven. Do you want? Number seven, ok. Number oh, seven. Stomach age. Oh. Stomach age. Uh -huh. Dolor de estómago. Mm. Yes, stomach aches. They are antiacid. Okay, they an antiacid. Thank you. Antiacid. Um, ay, para decir que no coma mucho, they... Don't, don't, don't eat too much. 
don't, don't eat, eat too, much. too much. Don't excellent. eat too much. Excellent. Excellent. Don't eat too much. Okay. Too much. Just, just two pupusas, right? Ya no se coma el dólar completo. Just two. Ay, no. <laughs> Next Ay, one. Who wants to continue? <laughs> Pick another one. Choose another number. Who wants to continue? Just tell me the number. Hello, I see in dollars the premium, one hundred dollars. Sixteen. <laughs> sixteen. The last one. Okay, sixteen. Flu. The flu. I have the flu. What are your advices? If you have a flu, you take a nap. Okay, take a nap. That is when. Any other? How do you say abrigarse? Oh, abrigarse. Uh, put on your coat or put on your sweater. Put on your sweater, put on your coat. Okay. Póngase su suéter, right? O póngase su abrigo, coat. Uh, pick another number. Choose another number. Nine. Nine to. Mm, here we go. Number nine. Sore throat. Sore throat. I have sore throat. What is your advice? Drink tea. Okay, drink a half tea. Un té de manzanilla, ¿verdad? Un té de jengibre. Maybe to go to the doctor. Go to the doctor, yes. Which other one? The last one. Choose the last one. Who wants to choose the last one? Pick the last one. Number three. Number three. Number three. Um, number three, we have back age. Back age. I have a back age. Go exercise. Oh, but I have a back age in. <laughs> you tell me do <laughs> exercise. <laughs> yeah. Go uh, yoga. <laughs> Oh, do yoga. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, do exercise and go yoga. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I'm going to pick one for you. Number 10. Rush, a rush. I have a rush. What is your advice? If you have a rash, go to the doctor. Okay, go to the doctor. Or put a rush cream or... <laughs> oh, a cream, okay. We can use a cream too, right? Cream. Just, this is the last one, in number one. What is in number one? Let's see. And there is another number one. So cold, cold. I have a cold. What are your advices? Don't eat ice cream. Don't eat ice cream. Thank you. Don't eat ice cream. Yes, that is a good advice. Tengo un resfriado. I have a cold. What are your advices? Press in bed. Rest in bed, things. One more, uh, one more. They are stay, stay at home. Stay at home and take an aspirin. Take chicken soup. <laughs> okay, drink, drink chicken soup. Take some, some cold pills. Take some cold pills, okay. 
Okay. Take a shower with hot water. Oh, take a shower with hot water. That could work, right? That could work to get better. Okay. So today we're going to study this, right? 10 simple ways to improve your health. Mm, Se han preguntado si tienen una healthy life. Si llevan una vida saludable. Do you eat fruits? Do you eat vegetables? Do you take vitamins? Do you do exercises? Do you do exercise? Do you go and run? Do you go to the gym? Do you rest? Do you rest enough? Descansa lo suficiente? So we are going to do this, right? So 10 simple ways to improve your health. We are going to watch this. So we are going to listen to this. Just a moment. This one. Okay, this is the reading part. So we're gonna listen to this. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop out how to improve your health. Believe it or not, you can in 10 simple ways. Can you listen? Can you watch the video and listen? Yes. I yes. listen. Okay, thank you. One, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Two, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Three, floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six, wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. Nine, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Ten, take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. Okay. Those are some advices or some habits that you have to have to to have a healthy to have a healthy life. Which one do you practice? ¿Cuáles de esos consejos practica? ¿Cuáles de estas actividades do you practice? Ninguna. I floss my teeth. Uh, I'm gonna show you here. Okay, here they are. So number one, eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. That is the advice. Eat breakfast. Siempre desayune, verdad? Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Todos desayunamos. Everyone eat breakfast. Yes. 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 Okay. Second one. Yes. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. So the advice is go for a walk. Salga a caminar, Bernan. Tome una caminata. Do you do that? Go for a walk. Yes, every day in the morning. Okay. Excellent. Floss your teeth, don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your guns healthy. Floss, floss is usar hilo dental, ¿no? Floss, that is flossing, keeps your guns healthy. 
in the next, drink a cup of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. I hope you are drinking enough water. In number five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. So, estirarse, ¿verdad? Estirarse for five minutes. Wear a seat belt. Every year, seat belt say thousand of life. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword or read a new book. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisture and some screen. Bloqueador solar, ¿verdad? Tiene que usar mucho bloqueador solar. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it daily. Daily foods like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. And then take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. So here are 10 advices, right? Uh, using the imperative sentences. Eat breakfast, go for a walk, floss your teeth, drink a capsule of water every day, stretch for five minutes, wear a seatbelt, do something to challenge your brain, protect your skin, get enough calcium, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. So from this reading, let's answer the following question. Question number one, what can we do for challenge our brain? What can we do for challenging our brain? Do so for cross, 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 cross. Oh. Okay, do a crossword puzzle. Do a crossword or, puzzle. Or read our book. Read a new book. Okay, that are two advices to challenge our brain. Number two, what does our bones need? What does our bones need? Calcium. Calcium, yes. Next one, what is a good exercise to stay healthy? Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Which other one? Go to the gym. Okay, it's stretch for five minutes. It's stretch for five minutes. How much water do you need to drink? How much water do you need to drink? Eight cups of water. Okay, excellent. Eight cups of water every day, every day. No, every week, every day. Eight, eight, eight cups or eight glasses? It says eight cups. Uh -huh. Eight cups but, of water every day. But cups is like water. No? Yes, it is most common to say eight glasses of water. Ocho vasos de agua. Okay. Uh -huh. That is most common to say a glass. So what can you do in your time out? What can you do in your time out? Listen to music. Yes, listen to music. That is one advice. Get up and walk. Get up and walk. Okay, if you are sick, working at the office, so take at least five, 10 or 20 minutes, stand up and walk, um, sit down, relax and listen to music and you're going to stay healthy. Which practice say lots of lives? Your seat belt. Wear a seat belt. Okay, siempre lo usan? Yes. Yes? Yes. Bueno, yes. Le, re le recuerdo que van a subir la multa. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, now here I have some extra information. I'm going to share with you the presentation and you're going to see this one. Here are many examples of imperative sentences and giving some advices to stay healthy using imperatives. Who wants to read the first one? So it's a diet, diet. Me. Thank you, you can start. Diet. Uh, 
Eat a healthy diet, eat lots of fruits and vegetables, don't eat fast food or lots of sugar, stay away from high foods too, drink lots of water, drink too much caffeine, don't drink too much caffeine. No, don't or drink. <laughs> yeah. Don't drink too much caffeine or sugar drinks like soda. It's, too, it's for me to that. Okay, that is too difficult for you. Don't drink too much caffeine. It's coffee, right? Don't drink coffee or sugary drinks, bebidas dulces like soda, juice, and other. Stay away from fried foods too. <laughs> fried food, no pastelitos, no enchiladas. Don't eat. Don't eat fast food, no pizza, no hamburger, no tacos, sorry. Ah, but it says eat lots of fruit and vegetables. So welcome watermelon, coconut, apples, eh, onions, garlics, welcome. So let's see which other one. Oh, soda, bye-bye soda. It says don't drink too much sugary drinks like soda. Sleep, sleep. The other one is sleep. Who wants to read this one? Who wants to read this part? Get plenty of, of rest. Sleep at least six, six hours at night. Do not uh, do not go to go to the sleep too late. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Don't eat in bed. Also, don't check your phone from bed. Okay, look at this. Get plenty I of rest. I check my phone in my bed. <laughs> oh, okay, so <laughs> according to this, you don't have to do it, right? Don't eat in bed yeah. and don't check your phone, your phone from bed. And don't go to sleep too late. Right? A las nueve en punto, go to bed. Right? <laughs> Get plenty of rest. Descanse lo suficiente. Six hours, at least six hours at night. Por lo menos, how many hours? At least. It means al menos. ¿Cuántas horas? How many hours? Six hours. Six hours. So, stress. Stress. Who wants to read that part? This is the last part. Who wants to read it? You are going to find many examples of imperative sentences. Thank you, Carlos. You can start. Stress. Do not stress too much each day. Find time to relax. Take a walk. Sit and watch the sunset. Talk with friends and family. Don't spend too much time on social media. Okay. Thank you. So let's find time to relax, right? I know it's difficult, right? But to stay healthy, find time to relax. Take a walk, see it and watch the sunset. Siéntese y observe la puesta del sol. Talk with friends and family. Don't spend too much time on social media. Those are some examples of imperative sentences. And you are going to find these two. So exercise, get some exercise at least three times a week. Go for rent, join a gym, play on a sport team, walk to work if you can, buy a bicycle, take long bike rides, go hiking on weekends, just don't sit on the couch and watch TV. So health, see a doctor once a year, listen to your doctor, follow her advices, don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. Uh, probably this is the best advice. Right? Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. No espere, ¿verdad? Para ir al doctor, si usted se siente enfermo. That is advice. And this is an imperative sentence. An imperative sentence. Don't wait to see a doctor if you feel sick. Okay, that is the end. Thank you very much for your attention and your participation today. Boy, the worst part was the don't drink coffee. That was the worst part of the class.
ese, ese consejo. ¿no? Don't drink coffee. Don't drink soda. It's too bad. It's and, too bad. And fry food coffee too. Coffee yes, soda no. <laughs> Coffee, the coffee is necessary coffee, for yes. the life. Really? Yes, yes teacher. Every day. Yes, in the morning. Right? And Maybe every moment. Morning. Every moment of the day. Uh, and every moment, yes. Okay, just a survey. Just a little survey. How many, how many cups of coffee do you drink in a day? ¿Cuántas tazas de café in toma my case? In in my case, three cups. Three. Three, three cups. really? Of coffee. Three, three or four. Maybe four. four. <laughs> Maybe four. <laughs> three or four. <laughs> yes, uh, coffee. Well, two, two cups of coffee. Carlos, what about you? How many cups of coffee do uh, you drink in a day? I don't drink coffee. Ah, okay, wow. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> you are doing good. You are doing good. <laughs> and Janet? Only two cups. Only two cups of coffee. Melida Sarai? And four. Four cups. Four cups of coffee. Veronica? Um, I drink two or three cups. Two or okay. three cups. Because okay. the doctor, the doctor say me don't drink coffee, but I drink coffee. <laughs> but I need coffee, she said. <laughs> and Lis <laughs> Lisette, how many cups of coffee do you drink in a day? Um, two. 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 Two, 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 two cups of mal, coffee. Mal, <laughs> ah, okay. I'm sorry for you. No, Le, <laughs> le esconden la cafetera. <laughs> the coffee yes. machine, okay. Uh, Roxana Abigail, how many cups of coffee do you drink in a day? I don't drink coffee. Ah, okay. I don't drink I don't coffee. like coffee. Okay. And what about you, Mateo? She doesn't like coffee. She doesn't like coffee. Mateo? I don't drink coffee. Oh, Mateo, he doesn't <laughs> drink coffee too. And the last one, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. How many cups of coffee do you drink in a day? Claudia, hello. Bueno, se durmió antes que nosotros, no ganó. <laughs> Nice. Sí, es verdad que no nos, han mandado las, no nos han mandado las diapositivas de los cursos anteriores en el grupo. De las clases anteriores. Solo me hace falta la de anoche, de las clases. Anoche ya no la pude enviar, pero se las voy a compartir el día de hoy. Solo esa nos hace falta y la de hoy. In today class. Ok, guys. Uh, it has been a pleasure to be with you tonight. Do you have any question? Do you have any question about today's class or about the exercise on the platform? Questions? Tienen alguna pregunta? No questions? Bueno, eh, solo recordarles, Bernard, eh, que hay que seguir trabajando en la plataforma todo lo que sea posible, avancen todo lo que les sea posible en su tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Teacher, pero si usted dijo que nos relajáramos. Ah, that was, was an, an example. Mm -hmm. Solo fue un example. Yes, ejemplo así en la clase. voy a decir a mi jefe mañana. <ríe> Mira, anoche me dijeron que mañana. anoche aprendí <ríe> don't work too hard. Terapia, me... <ríe> <ríe> don't work too hard. No trabaje demasiado. Uh, yes. Bueno, pero completemos esos ejercicios, ¿verdad? Para que después no... Okay. No andemos apresurados. So, vamos despacio completándolos. Esta semana, sección 3, sección 3 y el midterm y el examen de medio curso. Si no hay más preguntas, sweet dreams, sleep well, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Eh, Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, Claudia. See you okay. tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Rest a lot. Rest a lot.
Descansen mucho. Bye, bye.